The war between Israel and Hamas is having an impact on Wall Street. As you might expect, energy and defense stocks climbed this week. The war is even having a slight impact on so-called haven assets like gold and bonds. Joining us here in Studio 57 is Wall Street Journal markets reporter Eric Wallerstein. Eric, thanks for being here. So the war is creating instability. Uh, that always instability leads to instability in the markets very often. Uh, usually uh, the markets hate instability. What kind of effects are we seeing so far? And if this becomes a longer protracted thing, what, expe what do you expect to see on Wall Street? Yeah, you're right. So it's not exactly panic mode quite yet. Uh, I'm told that Tensions would need to spill over to include other countries in order for that to happen. But we are seeing some pretty reactionary moves uh, across markets. Gold, which is really a haven from turmoil, mm. is having its best week since March. Mm. If you recall, that's when SVB and a lot of the regional banks were under stress. So energy prices are seeing a lot of movement because uh, of the war. What does, what does that mean ultimately uh, for consumers, especially when we begin to move into the colder yeah. months? Yeah, that's right. So oil and gas prices are kind of on the up. Uh, for American consumers, we did get a bit of good news. The U.S. is producing more oil than ever before each day. And that took some of the air out of, out of rising energy prices. But uh, if the tensions continue, we could see Iranian exports or Saudi exports uh, decrease. And lower supply would mean higher prices at the pump, higher prices for businesses, so a slowdown in the economy. Uh, for European consumers, there are concerns that natural gas, which was a huge concern when Russia uh, and Ukraine, that war broke out, uh, could become tighter. So there is a big stockpile in Europe. They have you know, a good amount of gas heading into the winter, but a Chevron-run gas field in Israel is now kind of on hold and shut down for the moment, which has raised prices about 30% in the past week. So wow. there's definitely big moves happening. Mm. We are all tied together. Uh, so Eric, one of the other things that we're seeing is airline stocks took a hit this week because of the war. What does it say about the industry? Yeah, so I mean, you have the immediate impact where flights to Israel are obviously on hold, and then tourism, just broadly to the Middle East, cons consumers might be less likely to do that. United Airlines, Delta, you're seeing a drop in share prices. Again, it hasn't been too extreme. I think Wall Street's a little bit wait and see right now. It's a very fluid situation, is what I'm hearing from investors, and they're kind of waiting to see how this progresses. All right, Eric Wallerstein, thank you for your insight. Thank you.